I hate politics and I'm not saying I'm not a political person because I am very political. I just hate how the discourse goes these days when it comes to politics. You know, back in the day, or maybe I'm just naive because I grew up, but I remember political conversations being something that is progressive, actually breaks some ground, something that can be seen as something that's going to further the country and further people's opinions. But now, since I think political opinions are so different from each other, they're so contrasting, they're so opposite of each other, that it's very hard for people to just settle their differences, you know? It has to always involve some name calling or some kind of insult that doesn't really further the, the conversation at all. I mean, what happened to all the productive conversations? You know, we just saw the presidential debate recently, right? We saw Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump. And let's just look, it was a great, grave, grave difference from the last debate we had with Biden and Trump. But at the end of the day, it's not a thing where two candidates are having a productive conversation to see if they're fit to run this country. It's, it's always like a a battle you know it's, it's it's not like an actual successful debate and the people the the discourse around the debate is even worse i mean people on the right are, are are trying to say that everything's rigged and people on the left are saying this and that people always have to have these intense and opinionated takes when it comes to this it's never anything productive and it's draining you know there's a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of depressing things in this world that's going on there's, countless wars and there's countless situations where people are getting killed for no reason and, and, and school shootings and everything and instead of really taking light of the situation and trying to actually better this country and being remorseful and being empathetic I feel like every single time one of these happens it, it allows people who are extremely political and have no actual bearing in real life to use these as crutches to, to further their points. I mean, obviously at some point we want to get to a point where we can actually stop all these things from happening, and politics is usually the way to do that because it starts at our government, but the fact that people are, are, are having political disagreements right when these things happen, it is not cool. You know, back in the day, I even tried to make a political uh, channel or, 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 or career. I tried to actually put out my politics. And it was so depressing because people who didn't agree with me would curse me out, would, would, would DM me and threaten me. I mean, these people are deranged and it's for both sides. So I had to stop. I couldn't even continue because me, myself, I was getting depressed. And it's not good if you're depressed off of politics because politics is very important. It's very important to have a take in the world, to have opinions about how the world runs. I mean, it's just natural. And when politics is so uh, a cancerous and it makes people want to not even get into it, that's when bad things happen. That's when people don't want to go out and vote. That's when people don't even care about what's going on. They'll, they'll vote based off of appearances or, or looks or, 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 or how the person acts. That's when there's no care or actual comprehension of what's going to fix this country. And that is not what we need in this nation at all. And you know, there's political takes that are very crazy that if you had, you, you're you deserve some pushback. You deserve people arguing with you. But there's other takes that are maybe a little tame that shouldn't be like punished if you have that take. I mean, you see all these creators not even wanting to put out their political ideologies because one, maybe they really shouldn't because we're not subscribed to watch uh, PewDiePie talk about abortion, right? But it, it shouldn't be a thing where you're scared to talk about your opinions. I mean, these pe people don't want to get canceled. And that's, that's really not where the world should be at all. Anyway, that's all for me. If you like this video, please subscribe and join the family. Anyway, it's been Marshall. I'll see you next time.